So today we're going to go through programming an international version of the TYT UV98 radio uh, which is a dual band analog radio capable of 10 watts of output and what do I mean by international version? That would be a version that is not locked into the ham bands because the jurisdiction that it's going to be operating in is outside of the jurisdictions that require it to be locked in to 144 to 148 such as Southeast Asia, uh, Mars cap permit holders uh, and so on and so forth where it is doable. Otherwise the same procedures do work for programming the 144 or the 2 meter band frequencies into the radio as well. When you bring up the software uh, which uses the standard prolific cable that all analog Chinese radios use so if you already have one for your Baofeng or something like that that is going to work for you. If it worked before it'll work again with this one you don't need to do anything more. The first thing you're going to do uh, when you start with programming any of the analog radios to avoid problems you always read from it first so under program hit the read button and you won't get a prompt it'll just go straight ahead and it'll read from your radio and you wait for that to complete while that's doing that uh, you can contemplate if there's any other settings that you want to change that match your preferences in the radio and for example for me I always go into the basic and these are some of the options that I prefer to pick which would be uh, display mode will be name you'll see a default squelch level of 5 I usually put that to 3 because there's not a lot of interference where I am and so on go through and get these optimized to the way you want them hit enter and go through the rest if they are applicable and now you're ready to start programming. So you would um, let's say here uh, I want to put a common use analog rental frequency in here uh, that's being used by um, somebody in the rental radio business where I rented a radio when I was doing field work in the Philippines in Palawan uh, with the Philippine military. So let's just again for purposes of this example say that they uh, wanted me to have a simplex channel of 16835 so this is where it would go 168.350 and uh, because it's simplex that goes in both the transmit and receive sites we would not want to decode or encode um, however let's say that the commander said to you uh, we want you to use encode and decode because otherwise the NPA can listen in on us so for today we're using such and such an encode code and we want you to have your radio set for decode uh, so that you don't hear others however that wouldn't be necessary and so uh, as you're going through the jungle on Palawan maybe you only need uh, the encode and so this is where you would pick it and with this radio there is a scramble function as well and you can play with that which I haven't done because maybe that would be something you'd want when you're doing your job as a secret agent in the jungle. Uh, stepping will be something you'll also uh, tailor to your preferences. Wide and narrow band. Uh, in this case you'd probably want to go wide. Your signal is off and let's say here you'd have a name of um, just common. And in this field if you're naming it you can have up to 10 alphanumeric digits. What I found with the UV88 was you could put more in and then it would really scramble your display screen up on the radio because it didn't limit you and um, it would just scroll on the screen and wipe out a bunch of the other display characters. 
with this one this software I noticed they seem to have limited that so that you can't over type now how many have we got here now we've got one two three four five six seven eight nine yeah ten so you can get ten in here and that's going to be your limit so we'll call this common one now let's say that you wanted uh, to program a repeater that was uh, somewhere near Port Barton in the Philippines and uh, you um, were told to get that in there and let's say that they were using for that repeater um, 165.585 now he also told you that it was narrow band which so these are the things that you would have asked because without them you could not program this into your radio so you would then be told or uh, if not then of course your handler if you work for Blackwater he would be telling you this as well he'd go I want you to put 165.585 in your radio and I need you to be narrow band with uh, encoding and here's your offset and so he told you your offset was 2.04 plus what you're gonna have to do then is you bring up your calculator and you know that your receive frequency was 165.585 and you know that your offset was a plus 2.04 that gives you 167.625 that is the frequency that you put in to your transmit frequency over here 167.625 now he did want you to encode and he told you that he wanted you to encode 154.1 uh, or maybe you ha you and your buddy uh, well we'll leave the scramble off for now scramble would be more something like maybe that you're gonna do on a simplex with your buddy I don't think too many repeaters are gonna have the, the scramble algorithms in your Chinese radio power you want it on high B lock you want it off stepping the defaults okay he also told you it was narrow band so you're gonna choose the mar narrow band or you'll be over modulated when you're coming through the repeater and uh, we'll call this one uh, let's say this was on a hill outside of Port Barton on Palawan we'll call it Barton RPT which would mean Barton repeater now I've got these two uh, programmed appropriately and now you can go on and program anything else including whether you needed some UHF channels you just put in the appropriate UHF now if this radio is not constrained and locked on to the uh, ham bands you will then be able to write to it so hit the right button and if it's still connected from when you had read from it it will just start the the screen on the radio will light up and the green light on the top of the radio will be flashing and of course this status bar on the screen on your monitor will be running the green status across there and when it's complete your radio will reboot and you'll see this succeed on here uh, if you see on the screen of your radio unprogrammed you'll notice that your radio was still back on say channel 5 that has nothing on it and as soon as you go back and select channel 1 and 2 on your radio say for example you put 1 on the A band and 2 on the B band you'll be seeing both these and on the top it would just say common one below that it would say Barton repeater and you know you're all good when you're satisfied with that don't forget to go to file and save your program or if it's the first time go save as and give it an appropriate name and then you can come back when you want to add channels modify them and so on then you will open that file by going open and then work within that file good idea to always save a backup and for the rest of some of these things here they're pretty self-explanatory you can play with those as you 
wish and then go from there. Any other questions? There's some good forums on this uh, and this software does not support Chirp and um, you're best to just use Google Groups or whatever and try and get some more. Uh, you may have programs with your cable. There's lots of tutorials including some in our YouTube channel that shows you how to do that. Uh, feel free to go and avail yourself to that resource and go through it and good luck with getting uh, one of these prolific cables running.